Hello everyone, welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophet Lou. I hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, assurance. We thank you for giving us another day to worship you and be in your presence. Father God, as we go through our day and read our word, we ask you to give us wisdom and understanding. As we partake in this devotional today, Father God, help us to apply it to our life. Father God, we just thank you for every given opportunity. Father God, we ask you to Bless the ones that are reading it and bless the ones that are hearing it. Father God, we ask you to be with us throughout our day. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Key verse of the day is Deuteronomy 13 and 4. It is the Lord your God you must follow, and him you must reverse, revere, even his commands and obey him, serve him, and hold fast to him. Subject, hold fast to God. Christian troops, I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I am holding fast. I am free. I am obeying God. I am serving God. This whole verse is key to our Christian walk. But the part the Holy Spirit wants us to notice is hold fast to him. How do we hold fast to God? How does, what does that mean? Does this apply today? Let's first understand what is holding fast is. It means hold fast means adhere to, carry out, embrace, and live by. Holding fast in the Bible literally means to hold your position or fix your gaze and not lose sight of. That means holding our position. It's countless people and stories in the Bible where men and women held their position regardless of circumstance, regardless of emotion. And we must be the same way and not lose sight. The world is losing sight of God. They are losing sight of who made them and they are fixated with with what people are doing and the things of this world and that they have lost sight that God is the creator of all. How do we hold fast to God? We, we do this by reading our word. And I know I sound like a broken record, but God desires us to get into our word and study to show ourselves that in order to elevate, we must place our time in him. In order to elevate, we must learn to read about him and enjoy his presence. Colossians 1 and 10, so as to walk in a manner worthy of the, of the Lord, fully pleasing him or bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. The word of God is telling us to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, not worthy of this world, not worthy of this and that, but of God. And to walk in that way, we must be people that don't allow the world to change us. We must remember what God consider worthy. What are God's standard? It says fully pleasing him. When we do the things of God, when we do what makes him happy, we are fully pleasing him. And when we do this, we are holding fast. When we obey, we are, we, and we do what we need to do, we are, we will increase in wisdom and knowledge because God wants to pour into people that walk in the way that pleases him. We can't please God living in any kind of way. Jeremiah 7, 23, but this command I gave them, obey my voice and I will be your God and you shall be my people and walk in all the way that I command you that it may be well with you. The Holy Spirit is asking us to do this now. Obey my voice. When we obey his voice, we will be his people. By doing this, we are holding fast again. When we lay down our will and agenda and follow the, the voice of God, we will hold fast. And we won't depart from him because we know where our health comes from. God is showing us that this world is fading away. And who and what will you hold fast to? First Corinthians 6, 17. But he who is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Another way to hold fast or anchor down for God, we must pray. Prayer is the gateway to a closer relationship with God. Prayer is the gateway to knowing his will for our lives. When we live any kind of way, we don't surrender to him. We can't hold fast to him. We won't have time because we have made time for everything else but God. Revelations 3 and 11, I am coming soon. Hold fast what you have so that no one may seize your crown. The last verse today is telling us to hold fast to the truth of God. We can continue in the ways of the enemy and lose the crown of life, or we can hold to, on to the truth of God and apply it to our lives. We can lose it if we don't hold on to the truth. We can lose it if we don't stay focused and anchor down for Christ. The word of God that we used to be, used to be children that was taught, the word of God says that we used to be children that, that's tossed back and forth and we aren't anymore. 
Stand firm and hold to the truth of God. Don't let the things of darkness change you. Today, God wants us to know holding fast to him isn't hard. Holding fast and listening to him isn't hard. But what's hard is living a life without him in darkness. And in darkness, we, we can't see because we aren't in the light. And when we anchor down for Christ in our, in our life, we won't, we won't allow the things of this world to carry us off. Do you hear the Holy Spirit saying to you, anchor down with me? Do you hear him saying, I want you to hold fast to me? Hold fast to God because he's the only one that won't leave you when things aren't going according to plan. Prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for everything. We ask you to help us to stay focused and anchor down to you. Father, help us to hold fast to the truth. Lord, if there's anything changing us, we ask you to remove it. If there's anything that's blocking us from connecting and holding fast to you, we ask you right now to break it and rebuke it and send it back to the pits of hell. Lord, we thank you for your mercy and grace. We thank you for forgiving us of our sins. We give you everything. Lord, help us to apply today's devotional to our everyday life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Reference, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21, but test everything, hold fast what, what is good. John 20 and 29, Jesus said to him, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen me and yet have believed. John 6 and 26, Jesus answered them, truly, truly, I say to you, you are seeking me, not because you saw the signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. John 6 and 26, further reading, Ezekiel 42, 1 through 43, 27, James 5 and 20, 5, 1 through 20, Psalms 119, 1 through 10, Proverbs 26, 6 through 7. If you're looking for the memory verse, the key verse, in the further reading and reference, it's at the bottom of, of each podcast. This ends whole fast to God. I pray that you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Thank you for listening.